The story starts on an island where Samuel, a reporter, was taking photos. All the people Samuel photographed were sleeping. When everyone was sleeping and not waking up on this island three days ago, I don't know what happened. Some slept in the pool, bus, hotel, and church. Here, none of them had changed. If the person was taken to his place while sleeping, his blood pressure would rise. He was left there because of that. All researchers and doctors check everyone on this island. Nothing is known about their disease. What happened on this island? The odd thing was that outsiders to this island were unaffected. So everyone camped and lived on this island to find out why. No reporter was allowed to visit here either. But reporter Samuel, who we met at the beginning of the story, got here silently and took images of the bus where everyone was sleeping happily. In the bus, which was traveling, he sees a woman clutching a goldfish in her hand. Samuel takes her so he may talk to the fish, and she doesn't feel lonely. Birds and animals were idle on this island. Samuel goes to a house where Stella, a girl, was sleeping on the bed after snapping photos. Samuel leaves from here and goes to sleep in the other room after giving her a careful inspection. Two researchers were standing outside Stella's house while he was watching. Samuel had been covertly watching them. We know no reporter was allowed here. He may have been penalized if he had found out about Samuel. Samuel goes to sleep quietly in the other room once he leaves. He sees a dream while sleeping. In his dream, in the same house he was sleeping, he sees the same girl Stella. Stella was in a mall purchasing some things. Stella is curious how he knows her name when he calls her by name. He wakes up. He sees morning. He listens to the radio and talks to Stella while sleeping. Samuel goes back to snap photos. He goes to a church where there are a lot of people. After taking photographs, he sits in the center of them. He sees Stella in his dream after losing his sight here. This time they sat face to face. Stella asks Samuel, are you here for money? Samuel adds, no, I just want to gain experience here so I can get famous later. He opens his eyes again and discreetly returns to Stella's house. He starts by examining Stella's things here. The diary Stella kept every day is given to him. Samuel starts reading her diary after that. He feels like he has known Stella for a long time after reading the diary. Stella would now visit Samuel every day to talk. Samuel wonders, how is a lengthy sleep feeling? She claims she gets a lot of tranquility occasionally. It sometimes feels like I'm falling deep. She claims I slept towards the end when I got home at night. He first noticed his piano teacher sleeping in front of the class. Then, every person here contracted the disease. The next day, he goes back out. He sees the automobile standing at a place where there are lots of balloons. He sees two researchers standing in the building opposite as he was shooting shots here. While hiding, he sees Samuel and comes home. He realized he may get in trouble staying here. He packs his things now and starts from here. Now, when he reaches the shore to go back, he stops here for a long time debating whether to proceed. His heart stayed with Stella. He liked Stella somewhere. He decides to come back because of that. Stella would visit him in his nightmares whenever he slept to talk. Stella begs him to explain in a dream one day. Why are you here? Samuel recalls my visit on this island last year. You went to a motel after we met in a grocery shop. I followed you but was too scared to speak. We didn't meet after I love you at first sight so I came back to know you better. Sam wakes up in reality after saying this and goes to the market to get some things. W here, two researchers arrived, one of whom sees Samuel. So Samuel pretends to sleep there. This island was sleeping with everyone. Scientist doctor checks him first. The things she found are taken from here. Samuel enjoys a lot of fun at that place as soon as he leaves. Cashier he goes. Stella's house welcomed him back. Stella's house gives him more goods this time. A tape recorder was present here. Stella told about her favorite and least favorite things in it. Samuel listens to that cassette. Stella likes unusual things he finds out. She likes the sound of a Barbie doll, boat, and typewriter in water. He brings and retains these things because of it. To make Stella happy when she wakes up and sees all these things. Stella told me she loves lengthy drives by the water in the meantime. Samuel goes back to his dream universe after hearing this, where he sees Stella preparing to drive with him. Stella advises him to steal a sleeping man's automobile. 
Samuel says we can't steal. We are not stealing, she insists. In truth, we want a car loan temporarily. Stella goes to his house and brings the automobile keys. Both traveled far. After a time, his dream ends. He sees doctors visiting Stella at her house here. Every week, these doctors checked everyone like this. Spotting them, Samuel hides in the closet. After inspecting Stella, the doctor also left from here. He emerges from the closet after the doctors depart. He clutches Stella's hand and rests on the floor. Samuel starts listening to the audio recording again the next day. Now, he knows Stella's dislikes. Stella talked about her loneliness in this. She answered, I live alone, but I hate loneliness. Samuel slept again. His dream talks to Stella again. He tells her, I know you hate being alone. Everyone has a partner. Who knows, we may live together later. Stella disagrees. After hearing all this, Samuel understood he was definitely wasting his time. It stopped here. From here, he decides to leave again. This time, he couldn't go and returned back home to eat Stella's favorite things. He has his dream again. Stella commands him to leave here in the dream. In real life, Stella is significantly different from the Stella you know through novels and diaries. Samuel thought now. Stella may be honest. Why does the girl I've never met adore me? But only Stella told him in her dream. Even he didn't know Stella's heart. When Samuel starts leaving here for the third time, I don't know what happened. He also feels thirsty. His thirst persisted. Drinking more water made him thirstier, and he got a lot of sleep. He finds that the water from the island is harming him. He reaches Stella's house while falling. He slept with Stella's hand. He wakes up the next morning. Samuel understood. Like the other people here, he will likewise sleep early. So he types and writes lots of notes. And like the rest, goes to sleep. Stella's body moves a few days later. From sleep she was awake. But just now, her body had no power. She woke up after three weeks of sleep. She boldly gets up, reaches the faucet, and goes to sip water. She then sees another toothbrush. She feels someone else lives in her house. She was furious. She found out. Samuel read and heard her diary and talks. She now attempts to murder and awaken him. But it didn't help here. Samuel had a long time to sleep. In the meanwhile, Samuel writes him notes. He wrote a story, so Stella forgives him after reading this. He taped talks and heard her diary. He wrote that Stella just eliminates loneliness. Let people reach you. Stella grasped after reading this. Samuel understood her well despite being a stranger. She now takes care of him as Samuel did. Samuel used to visit Stella's dreams and talk. Stella now talks to Samuel. His likes and dislikes are known. Several days pass this way. Stella wakes up in the morning on one particular day. Samuel wasn't here anymore. He was sleeping here. W. Stella searches the house for him. She sees him standing in the kitchen at that moment. She goes to him. Stella realized, Samuel is not something she knows for the first time. I don't know when she met him. In fact, they could talk to each other pretty well right now. There was a lot of mutual knowledge, seeing the same woman, Samuel's fish recipient. That woman was awake from her sleep. Not one, but two fish. Clearly Samuel's work. Two fish were in her hand. A person who wants something with all his heart will obtain it. Imagine Samuel had anything on Stella and that island. But for both, beautiful event. This film's story stops here.